Welcome to my channel, Marine Sea Time. Today we will discuss about the working and function of each part of purifier on board ship. Before reading this, first check my previous video on, on YouTube about overhauling of purifier on board ship. So in this, so this is the purifier which I will be talking about. So this is the motor. This is the spindle. This is the bowl. And this is the belt which transmits the power from motor to the bowl to rotate this bowl. Now we have this is the line for closing water to the discharge slide discharge slide and we have a tank you can see here there is a tank in which there is water and so let me first clear your concept this is the discharge slide this is the bowel body this is the operating slide okay so this discharge water it means closing water closing water will come here and opening water will come from below okay so closing water will come from here and the opening water will come from below a tank so this is the this is the operating slide this is operating slide this is the discharge slide okay so during so i will talk how a sludge operation takes place so in order to open the bowl in order to open the bowl, we will give opening water. We will give opening water from opening water to the operating slide. We will give we will give opening opening water to the operating slide. So these are the three. This is the discharge slide, this is the operating slide. So we will give water to the operating slide. And the water in the discharge slide will water water in the discharge slide will drain off. Will drain. That means Water is given in the operating slide and in the discharge slide water drains off during this is the op opening of the bowl. Bowl will open in this case. So bowl will open in this case. That means water will be supplied to the operating slide and the, to the discharge slide the water drains off. Similarly, similarly, so this is the discharge slide, this is the bowl body, this is the operating slide discharge slide operating slide water is coming from below and water is coming from here okay number 372 so in this case in this case during to close the bowl bowl close to close the bowl the water is drained from the operating slide the water is drained from the operating slide and the water is given to the discharge slide so water is given to the discharge slide and water is drained from the operating slide so this is just the opposite of opening of bowl so in closing of bowl we will give water to discharge slide the discharge slide will move up and it will close the bowl okay hope you understood the concept of closing and opening of the bowl in a purifier so from number 372 closing water will go and from 377 through a tank through spindle the opening water will go to the operating slide so from 372 water will go to the discharge slide and from 377 373 for uh, uh, the water will go to the operating slide so this is how the discharge slide and the operating slide so this is how the discharge slide move up and down during discharging the discharge slide will move down and after discharging the discharge slide will move up and it will close the bowl and the sludge operation will take place like that so in this figure this is a very good figure you can see the unseparated oil is coming to the bowl and up and it goes to the disc there are many discs approximately 150 discs which is 1.5 to 0.6 millimeter apart after after purif uh, after separating through the uh, centrifugal force the clean oil which is in pink in color will come out as a separated oil as the fuel contains water so water will water will be away from water density is high so it will be away from the the radial distance will be very high than the clean oil so the red color which is shown in the diagram is the uh, water the water will the water will be the water will pump out through the water pairing chamber water pairing chamber So this is the water pairing tube and water pairing chamber. This is pink color is the water. 
so water will just move above the top disc above the top disc and there is impeller over here this impeller will convert the kinetic energy of the water to the potential energy and this will come out from here water will come out from here now we have talked about water now we will go for oil so similarly in case of oil we have oil pairing we have oil pairing disc and oil pairing chamber over here this oil pairing disc and oil pairing chamber is, will be below the top disc this is the top disc this is the top disc and this is the bowel hood this is the bowel hood so water pairing tube and water pairing chamber will be in between the top and between the top disc and the bowel hood and water pairing tube and water pairing chamber will be below the will be below the will be below the top disc so here is the oil pairing chamber and oil pairing tube from here the separated the clean oil the kinetic energy of the clean oil will be converted into potential energy and will be separated out from the bowel so this is the bowel load this is the discharge slide here will be the operating slide here will be the operating slide okay so to open the to open the discharge slide uh, as the discharge slides opens it means it will go down and the sludge operation will take place after the sludge operation take after the sludge operation the discharge slide will move up and it will close the sludge port and no discharge operation uh, and it will close the sludge port so the bowl will be closed so the discharge slide will move up and down when opening water is given to the operating slide it fills there and discharge slide water empties and vice versa for closing water the bowl is kept closed by the discharge slide which seals against a seal ring in the bowl hood so as marine fuel contains so we'll talk about now we'll talk about sealing water displacement of oil this two will this two will, will talk as marine for as marine fuel oil normally contains small quantity of water it is necessary to prime the bowl each time that it it is run otherwise all the oil will pass over the water outlet side to waste the water outlet is at a greater radius than that of a fuel within the water outlet there is a gravity disk it is which control the radial position of fuel water interface so we have a gravity disk over here which will which will maintain the fuel and oil water interface and this gravity disk is outside the fuel oil outlet side here gravity disk is here i will give you the pdf in the below you can you can read from there now we talk about the liquid flow how the liquid flows into the purifier when a clean oil leaves the disc tank it rises upward and enters the pairing chamber from there it is pumped by the pairing disc and leaves the bowl through the outlet in purification separated water rises along the outside of the disc tank passes from the top disc channel over the edge of the gravity disc and leaves the bowl heavy sludge collected here outside the disc and a discharge at a interval which is fixed by the timer through the through the sludge port now we'll, uh, now i am going to discuss how to start a purifier and here we will discuss about the sealing water displacement of oil so first we will discuss about sealing water what is sealing water and what is displacement of oil so after the discharging operation take place so first we will talk about displacement of oil so prior to discharge the oil feed is stopped and a displacement water is added so prior to discharge the oil feed is stopped before discharging before discharging of sludge before discharging of sludge the oil feed is stopped that means the the oil is in recirculation during discharging time i am talking about during discharging time the oil is in recirculation and no oil will go into the purifier so before a sludge operation is taking place we will add the displacement water what is the displacement water this displacement water after adding the displacement water after adding the displacement water the displacement water will push the oil towards the disc tank after a, the displacement water will push the oil towards the disc tank now the displacement water will put the oil and it will push the oil to the disc side okay so that no oil can go during discharging time from the sludge port so it will push the oil towards the 
towards the middle of the purifier it will push towards the right side okay now what is sealing water sealing water is given after discharging operation so after a discharging operation is completed the sealing water is given because the sealing water will because the sealing because the sealing water will go and resides so this is the sealing water is given from here the sealing water will go and stick over here if the sealing water is not given then the fuel oil which is given in the purifier can come out through the sludge pit so sealing water will come over here and it will act as a barrier of the fuel oil to to, be, to discharge from the sludge pit it will act as a barrier it will not allow the fuel oil to be discharged from the sludge, sludge pit so sealing water will come and resides over here so this is what the sealing water uh, sealing water functions like so now let's start how to start a purifier ensure the lines are set and respective walls are open usually the lines are set from check-in tank to service tank check the oil level in the sump then we are, uh, open the operating water valve that means open the operating water valve so you can see in this diagram open this is 47 462 this is the sludge port we have a valve over here open this valve we have a valve over here for closing water we have a valve over here open this valve and open this valve these two valves are open open this two valves of sludge valve and operating water valve start the purifier feed pump from the bottom platform there is a purifier feed pump start that purifier feed pump with a three-way circulation valve in a position leading to settling tank so we have a three-way circulation valve we have a three-way circulation valve you can see in this diagram so this is the diagram oil this is the oil inlet this is the three-way circulating valve so at the, at the start of purifier we are we are recirculating the oil to the settling tank recirculating the oil we are not allowing the oil to go to the purifier we are recirculating the oil to the settling tank recirculating the oil and then heating it in a heater okay now open the recirculating valve open the steam to the heater slightly ensuring the drains are open after temperature is reached click on separator in the panel if you have a panel click on separator as the separator is pressed the motor will start to operate and through the belt and through the belt the power will be transmitted to the spindle the bowl will the ball of the purifier will now rotate and it will take time to reach 8000 rpm check for the vibration and wait till rpm reaches 8000 rpm open the bowl closing water which closes the bowl so at first we will open the bowl closing water which closes the bowl so we will close the bowl at the beginning because uh, after we after we have stopped the purifier the bowl is opened so before starting a purifier we will we will give first the closing water to the bowl and the bowl will close now displacement water is added now displacement water is added that, uh, i have told you what the displacement water functions like the displacement water will push the oil towards the distance because there is some oil in the purifier after stopping the purifier also there is some oil so the displacement water will push the oil towards the this step it will not allow the oil to go from the sludge port the displacement water will push the oil towards the stack after a calculated time for displacement water addition is stopped when the displacement water is stopped the opening water is given and a separate discharge now the op op opening water is given opening water is given from from where from a tank which i have shown which is below the which is below the bowl there is a tank from that tank there is an there is a pump which will pump the water from that to the operating slide so water is given to the operating slide and the discharge slide water and the discharge slide water drains off so in operating slide we are giving water and in the discharge slide the water is drained off so opening water is given and the separator discharges the separator will now discharge after the discharge sealing water is added to the separator pump so after the discharging the sludge is moved out now the bowl is empty now the bowl is empty we will keep the sealing water uh, now the bowl is empty only some clean oil is left and uh, we will put sealing water to the separator bowl okay till the water comes out from the waste, waste water outlet so we will now give the uh, sealing water to the bowl I have told about the sealing water, how the sealing water function at, and the sealing water is given. The sealing water is given after discharging operation only. After discharging operation, sealing water is given. Once the water overflows through the waste water outlet, stop the sealing water. Now we will stop the sealing water. Now the bowl opening water is given and the separated discharge is the waste left in the system is discharged. Open the now we have done with our discharging of sludge. Now we have done with the discharging of sludge. Our purifier is our spindle is our bowl is running in 8000 rpm. Our discharging operation of sludge is discharged to the sludge tank. 
Now, after that, after completing all the way, we will open the previous replacing oil, so that the dirty oil will be spread into the prefer. After the dirty oil is spread, we will spread into the prefer, wait for the back pressure to build up. So, there is a back pressure wall right there. There is a back pressure wall, we will wait for the back pressure to build up. Check for overflowing of dirty oil through the wastewater outlet and sludge port. So, open the sludge port and check whether the oil is draining from there. If the oil is draining, quickly stop the prefer. Now, adjust the back pressure throughout to a value where it is specified. Now, check the back pressure because the back pressure is very necessary because the back pressure will maintain the oil water interface and it will allow and it will make the oil to remain in the disc because disc because the oil should not move away from the disc because in the disc because only in the disc the separation of oil take place so the back pressure is very important this back pressure will maintain the oil in the to, uh, the, the, uh, the back pressure will maintain the oil in the disc only it will not allow the oil to move go away from disc so all the oil will be in, in the disc you can see in the diagram in the pink color you can see the oil is always in the disc side okay so maintain the back pressure of the oil now the purifier is put into operation change over the clean oil filling valve to separate service tank now we will change the clean oil filling valve to service tank so i have talked about you uh, i have talked about sealing water displacement of oil then gravity disc we have to maintain the gravity disc according to the fuel oil density uh, and we will gravity disc is selected from a nomogram nomogram as of the gravity disc are normally stamped on the disc. At the gravity disc of large size will move the interface towards the ball periphery, whereas the disc of smaller size will place it close to the ball center. Clarifier disc. Centrifugal separator used for the separation of two liquids of different densities, fuel and water, are known as purifier, and those used for separating solid impurities are known as clarifier. Purifier will also purifier will also remove some solids and clarifier will also remove small quantities of water. If the centrifuge is set as a clarifying, the particulate matter will be a combination of water and solid material. If it is set as purifier, the free water is continuously discharged. Therefore, the particulate matter will consist of solid particles. In clarification mode, the gravity disk is replaced by clarifier disk which seals off the water outlet. In, in this case, no water seal is required and consequently, there is no oil water interface in the bowl. The clarifier disk is an optional disk with a hole diameter of 50 mm. This disk is not shown in the nomogram. So, I have Told you about sludge discharge function also. So you can see in the diagram how the bowl would look like, how the how the bowl body looks like, how the discharge slide looks like, how the operating slide looks like. I've told you about bowl opening and bowl closing. This is the drive from drive section. You can see the flat belt. How the motor is connected to the bowl. The process section, process section. You can see the process section: uncleaned oil, cleaned oil, water, pairing tube, pairing disc, connecting housing. You can see clean oil, oil inlet, clean oil outlet, outlet, oil recirculation, sludge and water outlet, temperature sensor, pneumatic three-way valve, pressure trans transmitter, oil in, oil out. And pause the video and check the diagram. Separating bowl. You can see the diagram. Bowl body, top disc, oil pairing chamber, disc stack, lock ring, seal ring, flush space, nozzle. Okay guys. Thanks for listening. Hope you all understood the video. If you like it, Please like the video and if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel. Okay guys, thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, be safe and God bless you.